Every single one of us has had something lost in the mail, but what happens when an entire shipment of cargo packages gets lost or goes unclaimed? You guessed it, we get to buy it for super cheap. A couple weeks ago, we were on a road trip when I saw this billboard on the side of the road and I thought to myself, that looks interesting. So I went home, Googled the company to see that they hold both online and in-person auctions. One online auction box in particular caught my attention as it looked to be full of brand new Shein packages. Spoiler alert though, I think there's way better stuff than just Shein in this box. There were a couple other people really fighting to win this auction, but we got it. Most online auctions like this provide some sort of manifest which lists out everything that's in the box or some sort of overall worth of the box, but this had neither. Zero info. Complete 300 pound mystery box. We won the auction for $700 and then there was a $54.25 tax and then a premium tax of $2.71. And the best part, no shipping because we gotta go pick it up. I plugged in the address and it took us out to this giant warehouse that was full of lost and unclaimed crates of merchandise. I was expecting this to just be like another returns liquidation experience, but no. These guys explained to us that they have a deal with various shipping companies allowing them to buy all of this stuff in bulk for super cheap and then auction it off to the public. But the kicker about this whole situation, they didn't sell us the box. They just sold us what's in the box. So this is gonna be interesting. So Tyler can convinced a car dealership to let us borrow this great truck. <laughs> and then we opened the bed and saw that it was absolutely disgusting. But don't worry, we figured it out. I think we're gonna have to uh, close the door and roll the window down. Obviously I got a little bit of a sneak peek when I was throwing this all back here and I'm so excited for this. It's gonna be good. Literally every single item is brand new with tags and mostly in packages, which is nice. How did we get all of this stuff from the parking lot up to my apartment, you ask? <laughs> we don't need to tape the bottom of the box, he says. A million trips is how. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what's in all this. Oh my gosh, what is on that? I think some of this stuff like got destroyed in the shipping process because it still has tags on it. <gasps> okay, but this, do you know what this brand is? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is like a hundred dollar hoodie. I hope it's not destroyed. At the end of going through all of this, I'm gonna total up all of the prices and see what this box was actually worth. Guys. We're falling behind. We're falling behind on our million subscribers before the end of the year goal. So we're raising the stakes and I'm adding a prize. So if we can hit 1 million subscribers by midnight on December 31st, there's gonna be three winners. Someone gets a Peloton, someone gets a $1,000 shopping spree to anywhere you want, and another person gets a $1,000 shopping spree. Cause guess what? 64% of you watching these videos are not subscribed. I see you. <laughs> Please don't be destroyed. Oh wow. It's like a sweater. Look it up. It's like a nice heavy fabric, has a pocket. 127. Dollars. That's like one sixth of the whole box. Yeah, brand new, they were 105. As we go along, I'm gonna be sorting all of this stuff into either resell, donate, or keep. I'm keeping that for myself. We're probably gonna need a garbage box too. Okay, there's a bunch from this Princess Polly website. I don't think I've ever actually shopped there, but it's pretty popular. Ooh, we got a little silk dress. Another little dress. This looks like a purse. Ooh. That's nice. I mean, it's Nike, but it looks like it was made for something specific. I don't know what that means. Ooh, Fabletics, go to sweatpants. Fabletics has bomb sweats. 69 bucks, we're already doing good. Oh, it's a tiny polo tee. Okay, I think I'm just gonna donate anything kid or baby related. Whoa, <laughs> those are cool. They also look super sweaty. Woveal reflective made in China. Ooh, another Nike thing. That's a Jordan hoodie. Jordan. What size is it? It's a large, you want it? Oh, heck yeah. Sweater from Talbot, 68 bucks it says. Oh, this looks comfy. It's like that Teddy material. White House Black Market, that's a nice brand, isn't it? Oh, we got dresses in here too. Dang, that's really pretty actually. Oh, it looks like it got dirty though. Oh, so just a little bit on the bottom. Also got run over by a truck. It should wash out though. And another dress. Yeah, look at the bottom of that, that's pretty. Nike. These are so nice. $60 sweatpants. I think we've already made back the 
$700. More Fabletics. <laughs> these are a cool color too. What happened to some of these? Oh my gosh. You know what it honestly looks like was like a semi-truck wreck. Maybe. That's what a lot of this stuff looks like. They just have to like damage it out when that happens, right? Yeah. That would make sense if all this like fell out and spilled all over the highway. It doesn't smell like anything. They're like wrecked. Like that's not gonna wash out. No, there's no way that's coming out. I think it's just done. Okay, that one got ran over, but... Something definitely happened, but it stayed in the bag, so we're good. Ooh, it's a spicy little dress. Try on, try on. Very goth princess. Ooh, look at the slits with the lace on them. I feel like I should have brought this dress with me when I went to Forks, Washington. All right, we've got a whole bunch of Shein's. Package number one. What the heck? Are chain pants back in style? Are we bringing this back? Look at the knees. Whoa! Oh, why does it kind of make me uncomfy? I don't know about these. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> They're so extra. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like these. All right, we've got a couple leopard print things. A little blouse. Very similar other blouse. Oh, it's, it's another one of these little dresses. <laughs> Gilly Hicks. Oh, that's cute. Dang. Oh, another sweater. Here we go. Oh, dang it. I wanted it to be my size. This is a nice sweater. Misha and Pup. This is a nice sweater. This has got to be worth some money. A little Zara top. That's cool. Oh, I like this. It's like velvety. It has a cute print. Oh my gosh. How many of these little velvet dresses are there going to be? Okay. I saw a few of these packages in here when I was throwing these into the truck. This is good stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> Top Melon just lost an entire crate of these dresses. Hey, oh. these guys. Oh, this is really nice. Dang. Nice embroidery on the sleeve. Oh, these feel soft. Oh, they're from Gilly Hicks. Uh-oh. What? Bottom of them. Do they get wrecked? I think you can recover those. I think they're, oh, they just have like one little. They're so nice. It's like the softest material. They could be salvageable. I'm gonna try to wash them and see what I can do. Champion. Oh, it's, cro that's cute. Adidas. Oh, it's totally wrecked. Is it? No. Oh, it melted. Oh gosh. I hate to throw this stuff away, but like, oh, this is Abercrombie. <gasps> the heck? The bag melted. The bag melted, but the dress is okay. <laughs> Fashion Nova. I thought it was a Slytherin shirt. It's not. It's like a motorcycle gang. <laughs> they probably all ordered matching shirts and John Boyer's never showed up. <gasps> this is the, oh, it's the shirt from Clueless skirt. <laughs> Fell out on the road during the crash. Okay, this is weird. Package is in a package. Oh, it's one of those. You attach it to your air conditioning thing in your car so you can dip your chicken nuggets in. No, I swear all the pretty dresses are what got wrecked. Melted. Ooh, we got some Fenty Savage. Undies. What is this? Oh no, destroyed. But look at this cool. I like want to take these out and do something with them. The rest of the shirt kind of sucked anyway. $228? Whoa, there's a bunch of these sheer texts in here. They are supposedly unbreakable tights. I'm totally trying these. Oh, we got some more women's best sports bra and some red leggings. I have these leggings. There's something about green and blue velvets that I really like. What is this, Leo? <laughs> he hates them. You're such a good sport. Oh, uh, guess what it is. This is a triangle bikini. Oh, I wish it was my size. It's a cute sparkly fabric. These are nice. We have so much left to go. I know. Ooh, a Nike. Dang, we have scored big time. I know. I love this. It has a little butterfly on the front and then that's on the back. Girl Scouts. <laughs> It's an actual Girl Scout jacket. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> I was never a Girl Scout, but I do love the cookies. Fashion Nova. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Fierce, violent, and uncontrolled. Tales of a savage beast. <laughs> Change, is that how you say it? It feels like a nice streetwear. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. Show me your Moomoo. That's a nice brand. Oh, 
Oh yeah. No, way too short on me. I mean, it'll look cute on somebody, but not me. Oh, we've got more of this Misha and Puff stuff. If I had a kid, I would deck them out in these sweaters. These are so nice. Oh, guess what we got? This is like the only thing that there's multiple of for some reason. The bra that matches the undies. That's cute. That's a nice coat. TNA, $350 for this coat. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm putting these on my Poshmark and we are all gonna twin in them. Oh, it was Abercrombie. That's a bummer. Farfetch. Can't even read what the tag says because it got burned. Looks like a nice sweater though. Farfetch is like a yeah. resells luxury stuff. It's like cashmere. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Zage and Voltaire. It is 100% cashmere. <gasps> Beyond yoga. These are some of my favorite leggings in the whole world. Oh, these are the best. Oh, you'll never guess. <laughs> what? Do you think it's real? It looks like it could be. I mean, it's burned. Oh but... no. Oh, that's cute. Look at the neckline on that. I love that. Oh my gosh. Those are like the most <laughs> early 2000s thing I've ever seen. I would 100% keep these if they were my size. <gasps> Abercrombie jeans. Please be my size. They're $90 jeans. <laughs> Oh, and an Abercrombie t-shirt. Oh, got a little wreck. No! Forever 21. <laughs> oh, another one of these. Does anybody want to twin with me in the cute velvety Zara top? <laughs> Bambinifashion.com. Oh, whoa, Tyler. Oh, wow. Oh, these look like leggings. Whoa, they are leggings. Ooh. These are cool. Okay, this feels like all of those brands that are trying to do like- The anti-cellulite leggings. That's yeah, like it's like the nice version of the anti-cellulite leggings. They like went viral everywhere and I can't stand them. This is what I feel like they were trying to do. Like this is a cool texture. Ooh, oh, look wow. at my little bum. These are nice. They looked on the, on the website like this where they like kind of come up and then go down. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is the most beautiful. This fabric, it's only $40 from Wind's, Wind's store. That's so pretty though. $170. White House Black. Oh, it's like a nice denim jacket. Ooh, Hollister. Puma Abercrombie. North Face. It's a red one. We haven't seen a red one in a while, to be fair. The pile's a little smaller. I've been doing this for like three hours. I think I just found the perfect white elephant gift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing that to the Christmas party. Oh, we got another Christmassy thing. Was she in? They're shorts. <laughs> That's it. That's your outfit. That's cute. Are you kidding me? It's a great little like New Year's dress. Ah, it's wet. What is it? It's wet? Oh my gosh. It's shapewear, but then it's it has butt pads. Built in butt pads and it's soaked. It's disgusting. Ew. Why is it wet? I don't know. Semi truck crash oh. into a river. We're loving lemons. I love this brand. Ooh. <laughs> I've really only ever bought their clothes, but those are cute. I love Dang. this brand too. Expensive. Oh no. No, we're not throwing those Maybe in the garbage. Too. Nike training shorts. Oh, here's more of these leggings. Ooh, these ones are hot pink. They have a cool design on them too. Dolls kill. Whoa. What is this? This thing is wild. <laughs> This is the goofiest thing ever. It's another one of these Gilly Hicks crops. Another Hollister and it's fluffy and soft. Oh, this is Under Armour Rock. Ooh, Abercrombie top. That's not wrecked, yay. From Shein. Oh, more of a shapewear. It feels weird. It's almost like it melted. Last but not least, from Fabletics. This is a nice jacket. $100 wow. jacket. All right. Let's add all this stuff up and see what it's worth. One trash bag of clothes just had to be thrown away because it was destroyed. Two giant boxes are getting donated. Probably a couple thousand dollars worth. The stuff that I kept for myself totaled up to about $3,000. And the total of the items that I'm going to try to resell is $7,740. In total, there was probably about $13,000 of stuff in this box though. Thanks so much for watching. Leo and I picked out some other videos we thought you might enjoy down below. Check out my lost luggage videos if you haven't seen those yet. Or some of my returns palette hauls. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't. You keep finding yourself here on my videos anyway, so you might as well do it. And Leo and I will see you guys in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.